surviving despite adversity. Yeah. And, um, yeah, and success ultimately. Okay, oh, that sounds good. Very inspirational. Yeah, well, it's it's, it's a memoir of my life. Um, mm. It was going to be my entire life, but some things I think were best left off. So. <laughs> Just focusing on my nursing career, so mm. I did 10 years of it, so, yeah. Okay, well, big clap to everyone in the NHS who's worked for it. Yeah, <laughs> I was in the NHS for, for a good few years. <laughs> God help me. <laughs> I'm sure you made a lot of people happy through that. Well, I worked in forensics, so that's with the mentally disordered <coughs> defenders, so... Mm. That's prisoners, so I used to work with that side of it, and I've only worked oh, okay. with them. Mm. So making them happy wasn't part of that. <laughs> <laughs> it was keeping everyone safe, that was what I used to do. Mm. Oh, okay. That's good. So is it yeah. now um, uh, modelling full-time that you're, you're doing? Sorry, yeah, no. yeah, I'm modelling full-time now. Um, I do a lot of non-commercial stuff, but I've also got some commercial stuff lined up to do. Mm. Um, and yeah, I, I spend a lot of time doing that. I do on different people's websites, um, and I do stuff on there. So it's going quite well. Okay. Um, so I do that. I split that between my, my writing time and that. Um, uh, I was doing a lot more mental health advocacy before. Mm. And I am an ex-mental health nurse, but... I found um, my modelling career has been progressing. That's been taking a back burner. Um, you know, you've got to prioritise what you've got to do. Mm. What you be. Oh, that's good. So, what what, you, what got you um, into modelling, into like the the fashion side? Well, I've always wanted to be a model, and I was a, a child model. I did a couple of gigs when I was a kid. Um, my parents were like, no, focus on something that, you know, is solid. Mm. Um, uh, I've got cousins that are beauty queens and models, and my cousin's a professional photographer. And okay. every time I was in England, I'd always be like, come on, come. And I'd tag <laughs> along with him to, you know, see all the models and watch them working. And I was obsessed with the industry, I always have been. Um, but... At the age of 30, I stopped my, my nursing career was stopped because of medical reasons. And I thought, you know what, what can I do? Um, and so I started writing my book. And then one day, um, the Models of Diversity pitched, were pitching out for people to join them and said, Oh, what? Models of Diversity? Yeah, Models of Diversity. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I, I speak to Angel quite a lot. Yeah, I, that's, Angel then phoned me herself and was yeah. like, I, I pitched my book idea um, okay. there's a brief outline she phoned me up personally and was like girl what do you want and I'm like well I want a book deal that's my you know that's my goal yeah. she's like I'm modeling and I'm like mm -hmm. yeah but I thought I was too old to model because I'm 30 now and she's no like, you're never too old <laughs> I'm too old go get yourself a portfolio she literally wrote step by step by step what I needed to do yeah. Um, and yeah, and I did it, and so it's been working because I've been earning from it, and uh, yeah, everything's starting to. Oh, that um, sounds very good. Thank you. <laughs> work into it. I do work some days, eighteen hours a day. Mm. That's I'm, a lot. <laughs> I'm unsigned. I've been offered. I've been offered deals and stuff with other mm. agencies, but. I've got the know-how and the business attitude to be able to do it myself, so I'm quite happily freelance. That's good. So would, would um, have COVID affected that in any way? I started in COVID, so oh, okay. I know no different. I know no <laughs> different. Um, so if I've been able to build a career in COVID, I think outside of COVID, then it's just going to be awesome. Hmm. Okay, yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, all I know is this. So I was like, oh, it's so bad. I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it was good at that break for all of us, really. <laughs> Sorry. I've knocked something over. Sugar. Sorry about that. Um, lovely. Okay. So, is that, um, so do, you, do you model with, um, have you collaborated with like other models as well previously? 
Um, no, I haven't collaborated with any other models other than myself um, or on the fresh um, shoots that we've done already. No, I haven't. Not Okay. Not. Um, but yeah, it's something in the future that I'm looking to do. Mm. I work a lot in lingerie and hosiery. Mm. Um, and so one of the girls from one of the sites that I work on, um, we're going to do a joint thing in the new year. We'll see if we can get a catalog, like um, a calendar made up. Oh, okay. Ooh. Spikes <laughs> and stockings, isn't it? So, <laughs> calendar <yeah>. girls. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do quite well on social media. I've only had my Instagram for a month and like a week, and I've okay. got 1,400 above that already. So. Oh, that's good. Well done. <laughs> I'm good with social media. Unfortunately, a strange yeah, move. I'm quite good. behind on mine. <laughs> <laughs> but it's getting there. <laughs> so that's yeah. so. Um, so is it lingerie main, mainly that you model, or you like to vary in different? Yeah, no, I like <laughs> to do lingerie. Um, I like to do fashion, um, and I've done a couple of beauty things as well. Yeah. Um, I've even done some um, high fashion. Oh, um, okay. So so I've done a bit of everything really and I'm quite a chameleon I you know I can I can work my way out I'm a clever woman so I just work it out what I need to do and I'll just give it give my best on the day mm. um, so yeah yeah I, I, I've got my fingers in many pies and I like to try <laughs> lots of different things all the time mm. um, urban wear suits my attitude because I am <laughs> from an urban environment number one and number two <laughs> I like to show my true sassy side. Yeah, um, that's true. Which is always fun. <laughs> yeah, never hide yourself. My tutor used to call me sassy all the time. So I was like, okay, fair enough. <laughs> I'll take that one. Yeah. I'll take that one. <laughs> Just go along with it. You know, show you what yeah. Nothing to hide. Just click and move on. <laughs> yeah, that's it, really. <laughs> I can't sit down for like five minutes. So <laughs> I always tell people, just. Yeah, just make sure you're aware. <laughs> I was like, I bounce off walls sometimes. <laughs> Seriously, shit, I'll be walking up and down. Like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm keeping my energy up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, I'll be asleep. Yeah. <laughs> That's me, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, my gosh. Oh, sorry, one second. <laughs> Is that uh, um, in terms of like, the fashion industry, how do you um, see it at the moment? Do you think there's a uh, enough balance, or do you think there's still a way to go with it? Because there's been so many talks lately, and I've, I've seen there's, quite. A few. There's, there's a way to go. I mean, there's always going to be a way to go. It depends where you are in the fashion industry. If you're in London, then yeah, it is more, you know, multiracial than if you go over to say. Um, you know, like even France, sometimes they they don't have as much diversity as that we've got here. So it depends where you are in the world um, as to how much it is diversified at the moment. Um, but really, for the plus size models and that, I think that we're way, way, way behind still on that. Yeah, because only women over five nine with tiny skinny faces. And, <laughs> Um, perfect hourglass figure we're getting in yeah. like that's, that's as unattainable as being a size zero um so <laughs> yeah though there's not enough real models i call it like like me models in between that are normal size yeah, yeah you know, I'm, not tall, I'm not particularly big i'm not particularly small i'm just kind of in the middle um but yeah, I think there's a there's definite lack in there. But that's a good thing. That means that there's an open market and that's an opportunity. Yeah, that's true. It's if they want to listen as well, though. Yeah, racially, sometimes it's, even as a mixed race woman like myself, sorry, <coughs> um, you can see in, in media as well as the fashion industry that mm. there's an overpopulation of mixed race couples. I mean... I played a game, I counted the adverts, there was 15 adverts with mixed race couples, with light skinned kids, with light brown hair, 
green or blue eyes that literally like <laughs> it's just it's just overpopulated no yeah. they're trying but there's trying and there's just blanket everything's the same yeah um, because everything has to be perfect these days. Exactly. But, so the, it isn't as diversified as they think that they're doing. But, yeah. you know, like I said, it gives an open market. So if there's something there, then make use of it. Yes, definitely. I mean, I have one of my friends who I admire quite a lot, she's, <coughs> she's in America now. Um, I don't know if you've heard of her. Iskra Lawrence. She's a, um, a plus size model. She she started here just basically on Instagram because she didn't want to do any more airbrushing on her photos. It was just all raw on an, an American um, lingerie line, uh, Airy, I think it's what it's called. Yeah, Victoria's Secret rival basically <laughs> picked her up, and now she's yeah she's quite big in America now. But she won't do any photo shoot if it's edited. It's for airbrushing, no. Yeah, she she'll Why make sure. Be- why should we be airbrushed? Do you know what? Yeah. I love Ashley Graham. She's my idol. Yeah. I absolutely love that woman. And she refuses to be airbrushed. Yeah. Refuses point blank. She's like, yeah, I've just had a baby. I've got a mummy tummy. And what? Yeah. I've always so said that, that to people. Don't bother. You don't need to airbrush this. Leave this spot here. If it's there, it's there. Leave it. <laughs> so like, I never airbrush my photos. The, the amount I, I have a lot of photographers me. ask me. Why aren't your photos airbrushed properly? I'm like, because I want people to be able to see who actually who I am. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yes, but I could smooth your skin out there. I'm like, no, then I look like a girl. <laughs> <laughs> I not like a woman anymore, like a doll. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they do that. You can do my bags. You can do my underwear bags. Like I'm having no qualms about that. <laughs> Other than that, no. Just, um, Other than that, yeah. Yeah, leave it <laughs> yeah. yeah it's just but, keep um, it real as possible, and then as long as my as long as the message gets up there, really, as long as people can see what's hmm. going to be sold, then exactly. I tried myself to be a model. Mm. I don't have hair extensions, I don't have eyelash extensions, I don't have yeah. nail extensions, I've had no injectables, no surgery, no cosmetic surgery, I've had no cosmetic surgery, <laughs> no cosmetic surgery um, nothing. So I always pride myself on being a natural model, what you see is what you get. Yeah. Can't even stick eyelashes on, I've tried many times. It just <laughs> Yeah, I've tried it as well. I just threw it away. I was like, nah, it's fine. <laughs> I've got six kits in there where I opened it, attempted it, cried at it, put it back together and said, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I tried it one time. It just didn't work. I, I tried the magnetic ones. I stabbed myself in the eye with oh, it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, cosmetics today. <laughs> yeah. <no>. <laughs> <laughs> there's, uh, there's, I think there's, it's, it's starting to go in a good direction and I think I suppose as long as people continue to use their voices and I heard I always said this to my classmates in uni when I was a, a course rep if you don't say anything your voice isn't heard so I used to I used to pump them all the time anything you want to say about the course let me know obviously I won't put your name forward but you know anything that's on your mind I'll pass it on to you. feedback because feedback's good yeah. you don't have some <clears throat> feedback then you can't improve can yeah you? exactly but, and using your voice is important because, yeah. you know, I, as I come from a hick town, like a town where we were the only black family mm. in the whole town. <laughs> so, yeah, same. Was, you know, <laughs> and, and people go to me, but you're not that black. And I'm like, yes, but I'm not white. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I'm Jamaican. I'm half Jamaican. So that's just foreign to them from where I'm from. Do you know, that's foreign. <laughs> Even a Chinese is too foreign for some of them. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, so it, it was it was difficult. But that's where I grew and learned that I had to use my voice. If I didn't use my voice to stand up for myself, then no one else was going to. Mm. If I didn't like something or I objected to something, then using my voice again was you know an opportunity to start a dialogue yeah. and to actually you know. <laughs> about something in the future that's going to help and change um, 
so yeah using your voice is important and especially in the industry yeah definitely especially from women of color and bigger women or smaller women mm. women that aren't five foot ten and <laughs> you know Mm, yeah, yeah. I'm like, I don't even think I'm five foot. <laughs> I would say the majority of us. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, we need, we need, we need someone. We need people to stand up and you know, mm. talk, talk and walk the walk. Yeah, definitely. Because otherwise, you know, can't move forward. Really, I mean, you have that whole label, one size fits all. I mean, to be honest, it doesn't really fit me when I when I try that one, but. As long as One size fits die, I normally say. Mm. <laughs> yes, yeah, that's it. Really. <laughs> <laughs> I think I tried one garment one time. I couldn't get it past my knees. I was like, uh, yeah, this isn't a one size fits all. Let's try something else. And the shopkeeper. I a dress like, off Wish. It was so <laughs> funny. I should have recorded it. It came, it was this big. Which the dress it? was this big. Oh, wow. <laughs> I looked at it and I went, <laughs> It's a doll's dress, man. <laughs> <laughs> I gave it to my niece, she was well chubbed, but it was a doll's dress. So. <laughs> like, fit the doll in. <laughs> yeah, she was happy, but I was like, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you won't be shopping there again. <laughs> oh, no, not from Wish. No, it's rubbish. It's funny. It's funny, though. It's funny rubbish. Mm. It's funny. <clears throat> no, I don't do. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, cool. <laughs> so, that do you, do you do you like do you take photos with your um I suppose with your nieces and I don't know if you have any nephews or um I've yeah, yeah. I've got seven. I've got seven. So oh, okay, um, I am a family photographer. So oh, okay. I take photos <laughs> of the children. Mm-hmm. Um, and I have done for years because my cousin taught me how to take like you know just the basic stuff like composition light and contrast and stuff mm-hmm. he taught me the basics years ago so i just yeah and i spend a lot of time with the kids as well so um not recently because of the lockdown yeah and they live so far away they couldn't be part of my bubble so it was really frustrating <laughs> um it's so weird how it works isn't it and um yeah but soon come i'll get to go see them again so i'm excited mm. that's good from the age of 15 to three Oh wow! They span the whole of childhood. Um, so yeah, yeah, I'm a I'm a lucky auntie. They're all clever and beautiful children as well, so I'm very blessed. Oh, that sounds nice. I'm even the cool auntie. They text me. They're like, "What's up, auntie? <laughs> Love you." I'm like, "Yes, my babies text me." <laughs> well, as long as you keep being that influence for them as well. <laughs> yeah, mm. that's what I try and do. I stick it into the head. Just said, you know, kids. <clears throat> I'm from a humble background. I'm from a council estate in a hick town in, in Bedfordshire and um <coughs> Luton. And uh, <laughs> and uh you know, I went to the r- most rubbish schools in the county and all that and I managed to succeed. I managed to get educated. I managed to get degrees early or university yeah. early. You know, I did all of that. I did a lot of things because I set out and I worked hard to do it. Yeah. Um and I had the drive to do it and the motivation. The motivation was to um not be stuck in the council estate still, you know. Yeah. Struggling every week just to get enough money for a pint of milk and some bread, you know. So that was always my um motivation in life is to not struggle like my parents did so much mm. and uh, do something that I love. And who's thought that I'd be modelling? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good. As long as you keep that motivation there, then just continue to succeed forward, really. So this is a bit... Considering I've been modelling for six months, I think I'm doing pretty well. So, <laughs> so you're very good at it. <laughs> very much. I was born to model. <laughs> <laughs> I told I'm my most that. happy in front of a camera, I tell you now. I'm the most happy. <laughs> Yeah, I always say that to my cousin when she uploads something on Instagram, she'll put a, a positive message. And I spoke to her last week, I was like, you know you need to stop getting on the catwalk now, but they're bigger. Mm-hmm. Like, really? Oh, like, yeah, of course. You're telling me great stuff. I want to give you some feedback as well. 
and so you just continue to to pump that that positivity into people really yeah well i made a job for that didn't i that was a mental health nurse <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so yeah positive is 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 a, is a natural attribute of, of my personality like but that's because i've been through the hard stuff so i know how hard it is to be in that dark and scary place so i i i, I can really you know um enjoy the positivity and be grateful for it as well i'm thankful it's thanksgiving today isn't it? in america oh, okay yeah <laughs> <laughs> Where, where, if if you don't mind me asking, like, where did things sort of, I suppose, start start to, um, what's the word? Oh, I'm not very really good with dictionary, but sort of to like, um, slide apart, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. In regards to, so, so like, um, so as to where you are now, um, how did mm -hmm. you manage to pick yourself up from maybe a situation? that <laughs> may have happened yeah yeah um i openly talk about that i'm a domestic violence survivor oh. um and uh, i i've been juggling with my mental health from the age of 16 because of domestic violence and i was very young when i was in my first um relationship and i've been in subsequently four others um oh. so yeah. i spent my teen years my and my 20s going over and over and over repeating the same behaviors and and when i finally got the courage i went and got some mental health support went to hospital took the time out did therapy did all the hard work the nasty the gritty um the crying the sleepless nights the medication that makes you feel sick mm. i did all of that and i spent five years doing that uh, one day I woke up in March this year mm. and I was just like, I'm done with this. I'm done with this. Mm. Um, I'm done with all of that in my past, all the negativity. I'm done with all the trauma. I'm done with facing it. I'm done from hiding with it. I'm just going to leave it there where it lives and just be positive because mm. that is not predicting my future any longer. And it was like it was like I literally just woke up one day, and the trees seemed um, taller, the leaves on them seemed more green. Honestly, life just looked like it had actual like some colour back into it. Like I've been living life through sepia for so long yeah. that now I would actually seen the colours, and I was like, "Wow, I'm actually awake." And that's where my passion was like, "I'm gonna write a book." <laughs> you know like literally but people said to me you can't just say you're going to write a book and do it and i said yes i can i'm yeah. going to write 10 years i can write you know yeah i was a mental health nurse but i was a specialist i, I wrote court reports i was a disability analyst so i worked for the government i so my work was based on writing um so oh, yeah so yeah so it's a natural thing for me to go into why not write about myself and write about everyone else Hmm. I don't write about myself for once. Um, so yeah, and, and that's what just the, the the positivity I've got breeds passion and from the passion that breeds motivation. Hmm. And and because I'm open to it, I think that I've had great opportunities offered to me and I've been, you know, I've been lucky with what I've got. But yeah, attitude makes a difference, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> but that's that's a really great story to hear. I'm so, oh, sorry. I'm sure many people will be very encouraged by that. Because it's more That's people like you we need. <laughs> Let's hope so. It's not an easy path to walk. It's not, it's not, you know, straightforward, but, you know, got to try one step in front of the other. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, even if it's just baby steps to begin with. I was rolling downhill sometimes backwards, so you know, that's just the way it goes sometimes. You just gotta pick yourself up and start walking up that hill again. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, definitely. Oh, I always break something. <laughs> oh darn, if I'm at my desk I knock everything off constantly, I'm terrible for it. No, it was a cheer, I think I just knocked it. But no, it's fine. Everything is cool. 
lovely. <laughs> so that would you, um, I suppose those who are, um, who were trying to get out there, even those, who, even the younger ones, like what would you say to them in to like, because I suppose a lot of the attraction is through social media now mm. and a lot of the perfection goes through there. But what would you say to, I suppose, like the, the younger generation coming up who maybe who are either trying to get out of something or want to get into it, uh, whether it's modelling or, <coughs> or designing or something like that. <coughs> Excuse me. That was... so. Take time, look at yourself and to know yourself. Mm. Look at the deep facets of your mind that you don't want to look in, that you don't want to admit to yourself. Look at yourself and spend time getting to know yourself so that you can be a better person. Because in order to, if once you know yourself, you've faced all your demons mm. and you, you, you've righted wrongs from your past, then no other person's going to be able to affect you negatively. And that's important when working in such a cutthroat industry like the fashion industry. Mm. Um, you can't let other people dull your shine and they will try. Oh, they will try. Mm. So you've got to be able to protect yourself. And so by taking the first step and getting to know yourself, I'm a high advocate of therapy. Everyone should get it. Everyone should have someone that they can speak to autonomously, you know, without anybody out any of the pressures, you know, because some some friends or family, you know, you can say certain things to certain people. Go to a therapist, you can say everything to them. You mm. can't shock them. Trust me, I was one. You can't shock us. It doesn't happen. And uh, I think that's really important to build up that high level of self-esteem, that assuredness that you need in order to succeed in the fashion industry. Because mm. if you have one tiny ounce of doubt, there will be people that can see that and they'll single it out on it. And in a high pressured environment like the fashion industry, yeah. you are going to crumble. So I would always say, young people, focus on yourself first before you focus on your dreams. Mm. Because then you can make your dreams sustain. Mm. Definitely. Very wise words there. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Why do I keep doing that? <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, lovely. Okay. <laughs> so do you live on your own or do you live your uh, do you live with a family? No, I live on my own. I oh. have my own flat. I absolutely love it. <laughs> it's my fortress of solitude, I call it. Um because it is like a little fortress. You've got to go up these like big metal steps to get to my <laughs> to my flat. I'm like, what's this? <laughs> um, but yeah it's a lovely one bedroom flat I pay for a two bedroom the mm. second bedroom you can't even fit a baby cot in it like, <laughs> they're just taking me for money right so that room's it's got a wardrobe you can fit a wardrobe in it and a rail mm. just that's how small it is you know, really like. <laughs> and um, that's where I keep my clothes uh, and I live on three big lakes so oh, okay. Oh wow! And you can see the lakes. Mm. Um, if you look to the left, you can see the woodland. Um, but I'm also ten minutes away from Milton Keynes City Centre, so oh. I can't <laughs> complain. You know what I mean? Like, and it's thirty minutes on the super fast train to London, so yeah. I can't complain at all. I absolutely love my city. <laughs> Take the Mickey out of Milton Keynes. So it's all just concrete and roundabouts. <laughs> It's also, we've got thousands and thousands of trees. Every every road is lined with trees and roses and different flowers. And yeah. In the autumn, it's especially beautiful. With all the colours and everything. Looks a bit bare now. <laughs> I have to wait till springtime again. Yeah, I've lived on my own for several years now. Okay. I'm doing my own company. Yeah. Um, I had good friends that pop up in that. We've been doing Romeo and Juliet. Is it in? Well, I sat on my balcony <laughs> and chat to them, and they sat on the floor and we chat to each other. <laughs> that sounds fun, though. Yeah, you have to do it in a Rapunzel way as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. We, I was going, Daniel, Daniel, what have thou bought us me? He's like, I'm McDonald's, my lady. <laughs> <laughs> that 
that sounds good. Yeah, that's friends and <laughs> <laughs> But that was very caring friends. I might have to tell one of my friends. Next time you see me, yeah, pass that burger here. <laughs> you know what? They always bring me food. I don't know why, but they always bring me food. Like, you're a plus size model. You need to stay plus. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I'm not going to say no. <laughs> it's free food, I suppose. <laughs> can't say no to free food. <laughs> I can't say no to free food. <laughs> I would never say no. I would never say no to free food in our culture. <laughs> mine just ours is just crazy. Nor mine, nor mine. I mean, I've got many cultures, but I was brought up Italian or, or okay. gypsy or, yeah. like, or gypsy, like like kind of a mix between Italian and gypsy. I yeah. was brought. Up. Um, so yeah, if someone offers you food, you take it. <laughs> That's true. Number two and number three, we like food. <laughs> <laughs> Like if in Italy, if you're asked, are you hungry? If you say no, you're still going to get food. <laughs> well, that sounds good. If you go to my mum and go to you, do you want to say, are you hungry? Are you hungry? I've just eaten, mum, I'm fine. Are you hungry? Are you hungry? No, mum, I'm just eating, I'm fine. I'll just make you a sandwich then. <laughs> That's still food, mum. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Italians are like. Yeah. Terrible. Eat. <laughs> That's how it is with Africans. Are you sure you're not hungry? Okay, I'll get you something anyway. You yeah, know. you look too skinny. You look too skinny. You look too skinny. <laughs> it's like twice the size you were even. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The biscuit. Okay, cool. Yeah. yeah really, I just yeah. came down for a drink. Stop feeding me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's my culture. <laughs> I love the African culture. Love it. <clears throat> oh, goodness me. Oh, that's finished now. There, no. So, so off, mm, lockdown ends soon, actually. It does, in a few days. Someone yeah. sent me a countdown clock on Instagram. <laughs> We're released! <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting my hair cut! Oh yeah, that's true. These are coming out soon. <laughs> yeah, my hair needs... I'm, in. <laughs> I'm still waiting for a check to clear for my other job, so I'm just like... Oh, okay, yeah. And it's a French check, so... Mm. <laughs> it's like, they take forever to, to clear, so... Uh, I just need to wait for that to clear before I can get my hair done. I could do it myself. <laughs> I always do it myself. I thought, I'm going to treat Give yourself myself. a treat. <laughs> yeah, I can treat myself. Why not? <laughs> yeah, it's I think that's just before lockdown. <laughs> yeah, isn't it? I had to take my own nails off. Yeah, no, I went to, I went to my nail salon just over there. I was like, look, I have to do this before. <laughs> Oh, yeah, right. yeah. I, I, I was like, oh no, I've got to get down. And I couldn't, for some reason, I couldn't get down there. And I'm like, see you in four hours' time. And it took me three and a half hours to get off. Uh, to get back looking normal again. So I'm looking forward to my nails done as well. Mm. I think everyone needs a pedi, everyone needs a mani, and everyone needs a hair done. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely need a pedicure. <laughs> So what like a week left and then the lockdown is over. Don't know what's gonna happen yeah. in my workplace, but eh, we'll see. Oh, just continue on with life really. Yeah, it's been doing it and just yeah. hope. <laughs> <laughs> hope, yeah. Uh I, I'm looking forward to being able to rebook all my stuff now. So mm. get some actual money coming in. Because you know all my little shoots, <laughs> I make a lot of money from them. Because yeah. they all add up. You do want you do one every day, it soon adds up, you know. Um, but yeah, they were all cancelled because all the studios were shut. Okay, yeah. So, yeah. So has that been, has some of those been arranged like, after lockdown now? Yeah, lots of people are like, oh, we're rearranged when we know, when we're given yeah. the guidance, but they gave the guidance last night, so now I can start doing the booking process. Okay. So that's tomorrow. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> That's good 
good stuff. Yeah, and tomorrow is Friday. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I love how I say that for completely So that means fresh prep day. So I'll put a mask on my hair, and <laughs> a peel on my skin, and stuff yeah. like that. So prepping for the photo shoot on Saturday. Mm. I don't have to do my makeup. I'm so happy. Yeah. Because mm -mm. I'm constantly like on the train. I'm like, stay good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't be bothered with makeup at the moment. I'm just going to keep it real. <laughs> you no, know girl. I didn't wear makeup till I was 25 years old. <laughs> the last time I wore makeup was my birthday. Well, when I went out for my birthday, actually, which was. Oh, a couple of years ago, I think. <laughs> yeah. I'm yeah, I never used to, and um, I wouldn't wear it as much as I do now, but it's kind of my job to you now. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> I had to learn how to do it, honestly. It was like, yeah. my niece is seven, she goes, no, auntie, blend like this, <laughs> like this. <laughs> I'm like, I went in the living room, your, your daughter's teaching me how to put my points up, I know. <laughs> <laughs> crazy good taking hey, hey, inspiration from somewhere watching someone who is she watching <laughs> but, <coughs> oh excuse me oh my gosh it's getting dark quickly yeah and that's what I thought I thought oh the sun's just gone oh most beautiful sunset I'd seen in England for years I saw the other day honestly yeah. I, didn't, I haven't even messed with this picture right this picture is so perfect you think <laughs> She's playing with the contract. I haven't played with nothing. I just <laughs> took it. I was that amazed by it. I'm like, it's like being in Spain or somewhere. You know? <laughs> There's some nice sunsets there in the south. Mm. Yeah, mine. Yeah, no, uh, yeah, uh, it's all right. That looks cool. But... Mm, I'm thinking about dinner now. Being <laughs> <laughs> oh, a plus size model has its perks. Of course. I don't calorie count. <laughs> Yeah, no, that's that's what Ishka said to me. So no, nah, she doesn't bother looking at. No, it. I don't do that. I I, I exercise and stuff. Um, yeah. but I've got to be careful not to do too much because I lose weight. So <laughs> I've got to keep it in the balance. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Um, because I want to stay this size. And yeah, I could easily lose with all the work I'm doing. I could easily, you know, what I mean. So I've actually got to make. Oh, I've got to have a piece of chocolate cake. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that like the best thing ever? Come on, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> that, I'm not, I when that I blends, mm. Three, please. Do you know oh. what I mean? Like, I could just do Part that. As, well. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as I was a donut at work, yep. Yeah, Pass it. Oh. And some people think, I can't say no. I can't say no, donuts. Yeah. Oh. Some of my colleagues didn't want one, so that like, all right. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> I've got no thing with food. If people offer me food and I'm hungry, I'm taking the food. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I did. So I just, I just took it. Mm. <laughs> anyway, you said you didn't want it, so it's mine, isn't it? Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, the figure's still here. <laughs> That's oh, fine. That's probably just the way it is, really. The food is there. Take it. <laughs> mm, I'm not a donut now. <laughs> <laughs> I walked to the get shop one. after this. I'm going <laughs> to the shop to get some donuts. I should have told my dad to get me one when he went out. <laughs> yeah, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, delivery is even better. <laughs> oh, so, there's a chicken and waffle place around here. <laughs> it's bad because they deliver to your door. Oh, okay. What's it called? Because I don't know if I. That's the place we went to. Me and my friend went it's to. It's in Milton Keynes. It's called I don't know, Waffle House or something like that. Oh, like okay. Waffle King or it's called Waffle. <laughs> <laughs> they said all the sweet ones on that as well. Um, oh, but yeah. Savory ones with bacon and chicken and stuff. Yeah. So it's even worse. <laughs> <laughs> no, the sweet ones. Sweet and sweet. Mm. <laughs> Can't help myself. <laughs> <laughs> if it's there, yeah, let's just try it anyway. Beautiful. 
Mm -hmm. <laughs> my auntie, she makes sweet potato pie. Oh wow, well. lovely! And it's like mashed sweet potato in a pie case with marshmallow on top. <laughs> now, sounds minging, right? Sounds disgusting. Wouldn't eat that if you paid me. Don't start eating it. You'll never stop. You'll never stop eating it. Honestly, I'm not, I'm not eating that. That looks like. <laughs> that sounds like a good one, though. Yeah, I know. I, I would have never put that shit together. That's nastiness. <laughs> ah, that sounds good. Yeah, marshmallows. Mm. I'll try something. <laughs> <coughs> oh. Yeah, because I can't cook Caribbean because my dad's my dad's the Jamaican. And he's useless. He's like the youngest of six. So he's useless. Um, <laughs> so I learned how to cook Italian from my nonna, from my Italian grandmother. Mm. I never learned how to cook Jamaican food. I had to go to my cousin and be like, just bring my plate. She's like, feed me. <laughs> and they do. And they do. <laughs> when I'm ill, I'm like, cuz, I need some oxtail. <laughs> <laughs> she drives by and drops it off for me. <laughs> well, that's good. That's right. Yeah, that's good. I love food. We all love food in my family. Food is love. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah. My mum makes everything. My auntie will make us stuff sometimes. And she's like the best cook in the mm. entire family. Everybody loves her food. We'll beg her to bring bring the food if we have a, a family gathering or something like that. Like, yeah. mean, she'll cook for days next you know the whole banquet <laughs> mainly mm -hmm. done by hers like auntie how do you do it i miss my auntie banquets yeah <laughs> but now i'm the auntie that does the banquets i realized that i i turned into the auntie <laughs> they come around and they come around and they, I, I know they've just eaten like i know these little kids have just eaten <laughs> look at me like this auntie, we have some num nums they know because they know i've been baking and cooking for them and there's loads of <laughs> <laughs> my little brother went to him you just ate kfc like yeah but we're hungry for aunties <laughs> <laughs> well you can't be sat on aunties one <laughs> no they know it's good they know it's good but you know what the worst thing is so does my brother because he's at the front of where we did with his kids begging for it <laughs> <laughs> that's family it's on the yeah i love my family i'm close with my brothers i'm very lucky Mm. Yeah, I'm an only child, but I have many cousins. So you're busy. Yeah. yeah, it's the same thing. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> so we love each other. Just continue to send out the, the positive message, really, and then talk to each other. So we just yeah, been, <laughs> it's just been through WhatsApp that we've been communicating, and then we've just been yeah. doing Zoom sometimes. But no, it's helpful. Yeah, my brother, my little brother, he's got five children <clears throat> with his wife. Yeah. Crazy boy. <laughs> and um, so, yeah, the only time I can get to him most of the time, because he's so busy with the children, with work, with home, you know, I don't, know, I don't even know how he does it. And <laughs> they're all under 10 as well. So, and um, yeah, so. WhatsApp groups is just how we communicate and we keep things going. So I know exactly how the kids are doing at school because you literally put stuff straight in there so we can just all see it. And mm. um, it's nice, you know. I mean, we can leave messages and then they can come up and again. But it makes you feel less alone and more supported. And you know, yeah, yeah, definitely, it gives you a sense of closeness. You know, it's not the same, no, but. You know, you can all chime in, and it's almost like a delayed conversation that you'd have in the garden at a, yeah. at a family gathering, really, <laughs> isn't it? So, <laughs> yeah. yeah, family is good. Yeah, I can't wait to see them. I know, especially in these times, but I mean, COVID won't last forever as long as you just continue to just follow the rules and then also just stay focused. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I had my niece's sleepover, so she's on a bed. So she's like, COVID's almost over. I'm like, yes, yes, she can come stay with me. It's fine. <laughs> she wants to be a modeler. That's what she calls a model, a modeler. 
<laughs> a modeler. I've corrected her loads of times. No, it's a modeler. I'm like, <laughs> all right then, Jessica, it's a modeler. <laughs> <You know? laughs> She's got skill though. You go, girl, you look good. She'll go like this. She goes, I know what I mean. <laughs> I taught her that though. I did teach her that. <laughs> <laughs> my brother hates it he's like what have you been teaching my daughter i'm like why she's like she's been catwalking all morning and i'm like yeah, we did that <laughs> she'll have the height she'll be able to do it do you know what i mean i'm too short but she'll <laughs> well there you go <laughs> onwards and upwards mm -hmm. so snap of the camera lovely <laughs> My baby niece is the cutest. If you say, Jasmine, you, your jumper's beautiful. She'll go, oh. <laughs> and I didn't even teach that one. That's natural. <laughs> That's just natural sass. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm saying is my brother's in big trouble with his daughters. So <laughs> <there's nothing. laughs> Yeah, my niece is like that. So I'm seeing her now sometimes when my when my cousin posts a video. And I'm just like, what happened to my little niece? Mm. Like now she's all the way just out here doing everything. She's even painting her mum's nails as if she's a, the um Yeah, manicurist, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I used to do that all the time. She was really good. She was really good. <laughs> 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 Child later. Well, I mean, next time I'm gonna charge everyone that comes in here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that positive attitude. It makes me. It makes me feel more happy. And just, just. Uh, she she's a strong woman. She's a strong baby woman. So yeah. Strong. <laughs> yeah. Well, she'll rule the world. <laughs> yeah, really. I think that looks at my knees, and I'm like, God help any man that comes ten feet of you, because you'll crush them. <laughs> <laughs> like, Puny man. <laughs> <laughs> nah, she's ready for the world. Are they ready for her? But nah, she'll get there. <laughs> In the end, take her time. Squats <laughs> <coughs> me. Oh. oh, I left my water downstairs. Anyway, I'll get it later. <coughs> Excuse me. How's it for you? working with fresh as well yeah it's been fun it's um it's been a good laugh from from the first moment that i um um met the photographers the three musketeers <laughs> yeah, instantly got on with all three of them straight away so it, it was just blessed really and uh i could see what they wanted to create from where they took me and everything so i just asked for some gentle pointers and just jumped straight in it's been great fun and then I got to see that because they they they're really good. They always show me everything that they've taken. When you look at it and it's raining on you, and you're just like, yeah, that's good. Yeah, like okay, that's right. The posture's right. That's what I look for. I just look at my posture and I'm like, yeah, that works. Give it back. Do you know what I mean? Because I don't want to go. I start overthinking it. Yeah. <laughs> it. And um, but yeah, we were bouncing off each other. So I'm like, like this. He's like, no, like actually, yeah, like that. And then we just. It was really fun, um, and just having banter all the time, and just joking and laughing. <laughs> have similar personalities, um, so that's a good thing, really. And uh, and so it's been a pleasure working with Fresh, um, and working with Fresh. Different locations we've done has been great fun, and I can't say anything about the communication because it's you know it's top notch. It's it's always there, so. <clears throat> Yeah, it's been great fun. Accidentally took one of the t-shirts home last year. <laughs> it can be a pre-gift for you. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot I had it on until I was on the train. I'm like, nah, it's, I'm not removing it now. It's too cold. <laughs> well, you wouldn't want to do that on the train. But <laughs> you see me on the shoe, I don't care. I just whip off my top and put a new one on. I'm not bothered. <laughs> I, 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 I'm the opposite of a prude, like, I've got that European thing going on, you know, so, no, I'm not scared of that. <laughs> it's an occupational hazard as a model, you've got to be, you've got to be willing to get changed anywhere, so, yeah. it's good fun. 
And the and the boys are all very respectful. And as soon as they see me do it, they just turn around. She's doing it again. <laughs> if, if they're doing something wrong, let me know. <laughs> oh, well, I know you're them. <laughs> you're whipping them into shape. No, they're, they're good, they're good, they're good. <laughs> Nothing but fun. That's good. I'm sure you'll be you'll be even fab even more fabulous. Yeah, get my makeup done properly. <laughs> I can do like three looks. I just work on them three looks. That's all I do. <laughs> I just <laughs> rotate them. <laughs> I do loads of hairstyles, so it kind of works. Do you know what I mean? So I'm just like that. <laughs> I had a full brown lip on earlier. So I was going for the nineties look. Oh, okay. I was in the <laughs> Yeah. Oh, sugar. Yeah, makeup, makeup is cool. I mean, I think I can create some looks or take inspiration for, for uh, what's the word? Take suggestions from other people as well. But I like having it done by makeup artists. I'm not gonna lie. I love sitting there and having mm. makeup mode, and you open your eyes, you're like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. One time I had so much makeup on, I actually looked like a, I looked like a, a drag queen macaw. Because the it was so much, so much eye makeup. It was so bright. I'm like, I'm not going to carnival. If I was going to carnival, then yeah, this is cool. But I can't wear this. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that was fun. <laughs> as long as you enjoyed it, I suppose. <laughs> well, it wasn't paying, so I wasn't, you know. Okay. Um, like. This is going to take a while to take off. <laughs> <laughs> well, I suppose that's how, I suppose a lot of people like that, doing that contour stuff and crazy colours. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good way. I mean, I'll try it sometime. I mean, I have, for some reason, I, I used to get loads of makeup for my birthday. So I've got so many colours, so I'll probably mess about with it <laughs> at some point. Silly <coughs> cool, cool. Oh, Are you at the photo shoot on Saturday? Am I what, sorry? Are you at the photo shoot on Saturday? Yeah, I should be. Cool. Yeah. As long as I sleep properly, but yeah, <laughs> I should be there. <clears throat> In it, I'm gonna get there early, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, hopefully I'll. Yeah, I should be there. I think I'll. I'll probably use my other camera this time. But everything should be good for Saturday, and then oh, <clears throat> meet some more people. <laughs> yeah, well, I haven't met the two girls. Or the makeup artist. Uh, no, I haven't. I haven't met the other models yet. But um, I'm just uh, spoken to a few people. But oops. But um, yeah, so it should be good on. Should be good on Saturday. <coughs> yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> and so, do you do? Do you have like a? Um, do you do stuff on YouTube as well? Like, do you do any any of that? Um, no, I don't do any YouTube videos. Mm. Um, I I do a few on Instagram for a couple of sites um, where I do talks on mental health. Um, but no, I haven't I haven't started up a YouTube video channel or anything like that. Okay. Um, I was planning to once I've written my book, then part of the promotional process will be me, you mm. know, talks about my book and. And and um, going through the more um, detailed conditions and and theories around attachment and trauma and self identity and self esteem. So okay. so it will take it a bit of a deeper view into it because um, this book I want to be be able to read by to be read by everyone, mm. um, especially teenagers. Mm. Uh, an advisory tale like be bloody careful so I think that 
you know, that's important for the target audience. But in order to write for that target audience, I can't bore them with psychology too much. So <laughs> um, my idea is to take that further with, because um, I like speaking and I like the sound of my own voice. And, and I used to do it for a living, you know, I used to be caught at court several days. So yeah. I'm in Crown Court, even in the old Bailey I've given. So um, yeah, I find public speaking pretty easy in comparison to most things. Ask me to plot a graph. Oh, do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, something in the future, I think. Um, that's definitely. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Just continue to what's worth enhance, I suppose, what you're good at or <clears throat> what you feel comfortable with, really, and then yeah, just continue on with it. Mm-hmm. I can see your pattern there. Awesome. Consistency is key, really. I mean, if you want to do anything, you've got consistently. Yeah. You know, <clears throat> money. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm just breaking even at the moment. I'm not making any money or anything. I'm literally just breaking even. Yeah. It would be nice to progress to the next level of earning decent cash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you'll get there. I'm sure people see your book. Yes, I want that one. Yeah, yeah, I just need to find a publisher first. Mm. Uh, I've got a feeling that um, all will be coming together shortly. That's good. Mm. My prayers will be answered. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, nothing is impossible. Continue to move that step forward. So lockdown is almost over, and then we can continue on. I think. Oh, I think they said London is in tier two, but other than that, yeah, sounds alright. <laughs> I don't know what tier I'm in. I think three. Not kind. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. I don't I, know. I, was like, I heard something on the news with the uh, they've. Uh, what do you call it? Um, Tighten the tears, but yeah, I heard that they said London was here. On Saturday, if they stop me, they never stop me. Do you know why they don't stop me? Because I wear my disabled badge around my neck. I oh, found yeah. if you wear that, they don't stop you asking where you're going, they just allow you to. <laughs> if you take that off and just put a mask on, they'll stop you. True. I mean, I have my freedom pass on, so <laughs> that's all I could do, really. Um, but yeah. I don't, yeah, I wish I could get one, but I don't live in London. But I can get 30% off the train fares. Oh, okay. That's the best they'll do. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> everything's free in my city. Like, I can get on anything everywhere. You know what I mean? It's all free. But mm. London only gets 30% off. But I think that's. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, is it, oh, oh, does it not add to Milton Keynes then? The, um, like the freedom passes and Oyster cards? No. <clears throat> Oh, okay. Oh. No, I don't know. Yeah. Mm. Too, too far north. We're 60 miles of London. Oh, okay. Mm. Because of the super fast railway. Oh, okay. so, oh yeah. Mm. It takes an hour and a half to drive. So mm. the only way to get there quickly is by train. Mm. <laughs> well, from Luton, Luton is like four stops away from Oyster. So everyone's like... <laughs> <laughs> it's frustrating. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's good. So, do you drive as well? No, no, oh, okay. not allowed. <laughs> yeah, I know. I can't drive either, but <laughs> no, no, I can't drive. I can drive people crazy. I just say I'm born to be driven. <laughs> yeah, I'm born to be driven. Yeah. I'm just born to Uber, really. <laughs> <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if I can afford it all the time, I would. But <laughs> sometimes I no would. Choice, no choice where I live because mm. it's because it's it's and Milton Keynes is made out like an American city, so it's all in blocks. Oh, okay. So if you want to walk for two hours, <laughs> you have to get an Uber or a taxi. You have mm. to. No other way to get round. You won't get anywhere. So. 
expensive. <laughs> <laughs> I wait for my mates to come down and then make them do everything for me. Like, can you go here? Can you go here? Can you go here? <laughs> Yeah, that's true. <laughs> All my friends who drive, yeah. Can you take me this place? Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, I'm the only one that don't drive, you know what I mean? I'm like the only one. Yeah, I'm same like... here. I'm the only family member that doesn't drive, I think. I can't drive anyway because <laughs> of seizures, so so I, I have to use transport. So, oops, so they've given me, that's why they've given me the Freedom Pass, but... Yeah, I've got, I've got the, the equivalent of a Freedom Pass, but the milk cream's one, you know, so... Because I take certain medications and just can't drive on them. Because yeah. they're too high. They're like, no. <laughs> I told you I had to surrender my provisional licence. I'm like, no. Why <laughs> I, I still get ID'd fags. I need to prove that I'm old. So I feel good <laughs> myself. That's true. <laughs> People are like, ID for cigarettes? And you should see me. I'm like, ID. <laughs> it's like, do you see how old I am? <laughs> Yeah, here you go. I don't, I don't have my passport with me. Here's my freedom pass. Is that okay? Okay, cool. Pass it. Yeah, they, they're normally like, yeah. They're normally like, yeah, with stuff like that, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah. Oh, goodness me. Jump in the girls. Lovely, lovely, lovely. So, fashion is the future. Mm hmm. What I was going to say, actually. Uh, oh, it will come back. Oops, sorry. Um, so, have you done like any um, any of that performing arts or anything like that? I was really into amateur dramatics when I was a child. From the age of three, I oh, started yeah. going to theatre groups, and theatre schools, dance schools. Um, I did it consistently up until I went to university the first time at 17. I wanted to go to North London School of Performing Arts. I, oh, so close. Um, I had an opportunity to go to an audition down there. I didn't go to the audition, um, so I could have gone there. I would have gone in, and I would have gone in. Mm. Um, so yeah, I've got an A in my, um, I did uh, drama and performance art, GCSE level, I did that. But okay, yeah. I loved it, and then I'd do stuff in the local town, so I was with the players. And I used to teach children drama skills and stuff like that. So for a long period of time, I wanted to be a model, but I actually wanted to be an actress is what I wanted to be. Mm. Um, but yeah, I um, was never really supported to do that job by my parents. Like, you need you need your parents' support in order okay. to do it. Yeah. Because um, it wasn't a solid, you know, you can't go into the arts. It's not a solid background, blah, blah, blah. Mm. Um, so yeah, I did a lot of that. Uh, in a lot of like theatre shows and stuff like that, such so as you know, like mm. West Side Story, Grace. Oh, okay. Oh, Malone. You know all those typical ones. <laughs> all those. Um, so yeah, I spent years doing that, and it was my biggest passion growing up. I was a yeah. really shy kid. I didn't speak until late. Like I was a late speaker, yeah. um, and the only time that I would come out of my shell. Just someone got a camera on and said, Naomi, mean, dance for us, act for us, sing for us. And that would be the only time that I would actually interact with people. Because mm. uh, I do have, I am Asperger, I have Asperger's. Um, <coughs> so my ability to communicate with others is slightly different. Um, but yeah, um, the arts is where I used to come alive and I still find that I do. Um, I'm always happiest with the camera's pointing at me. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I love performing arts as well. Yeah, absolutely loved it. Absolutely loved it. Trying to get my niece and nephews into it. <laughs> <laughs> They're so extra already, though. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah. Oh, making baby divas. <laughs> <laughs> They've got the talent for it. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> So, 
Love me. Yeah, I love the performing arts. I'm looking to get back into it. I actually asked somebody, am I too late for this? But then they were like, no, I'm 47. I'm actually producing films now. So, like, oh, okay, cool. My friend's a director, yeah. um, screenwriter. She's an animator. Okay. Yeah. She's big. She's in, she's, she got nominated for Oscars last year. She's oh, wow. Player. Yeah, so she's really big. And uh, she's like, babe, you should do, you should do um, voice acting. She's got a great Cockney accent. Mm-hmm. And um, I said to her, oh, I don't know. I don't want to act about my face. <laughs> it's the money maker. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, if opportunities came up to act, I would. Why not? You yeah. know, it's something I've always wanted to do. And I know that I can perform. Um, because modelling is acting. Yeah. Just don't speak. <laughs> Sometimes you do, it's an advert. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> the most part is still life acting because you have to come with persona in order to bring the character out into the photo. So, yeah. You take her hand in hand. Mm. That's good. Yeah. Keep that drive going. <laughs> mm-hmm. You're right. You've got a tickly throat. Yeah, because I, I haven't drunk anything all day. I think <laughs> I left my uh, um, my water's downstairs. <laughs> yeah, I think we'll. I'll have it when I have my dinner, and then should be cool. <laughs> mm-hmm. <clears throat> yeah, all is good. Ugh. I've been resting today, so it's fine. And then hopefully rest tomorrow. And have fun on Saturday. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I did some stuff in the morning. I got everything done for one o'clock. Oh, very good. No, it never, it never happens. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I want to watch a film. <laughs> <laughs> That's something I need to do more. Yeah. Mm. earlier bedtime yeah, just spend in that like, whatever you want have a cheesy doesn't matter just watch it and enjoy it <laughs> yeah, put the yeah, on put Benjamin Button on I like yeah. that film <laughs> those oldie youngie youngie oldie it's weird yeah. it's a nice film though <laughs> yeah, yeah it's just one of those you know just enjoying the background films mm. <laughs> yeah I can put on any film and then yeah that should be alright but Bring me an action film, and then, yes. <laughs> I like, the film that I loved as a child was The Witches by Raoul Dahl. Oh, okay. Yeah, I loved that. Um, and they made a new version of it, and it's got yeah. Anne Hathaway as the Grand High Witch. Yeah. And they've kept some of the characters exactly the same as some <laughs> have changed, but it's so funny. Oh, okay, I haven't seen it yet because I've seen mixed reviews about it. It's so funny. I was, I was, you know, when you're on your own and you look around to laugh with someone, you're like, I'm on my own. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm like. <laughs> I'm like when I'm watching a musical and I'm just by myself. I'll be sitting. Oh, yeah, all the time. <laughs> yeah, we get so good. <laughs> I'll just sing along. Oliver came on last week. I recorded it so. When my parents go, I'll be watching that film. I'll just be oh, oh, singing every. No, I auditioned for Nancy one year, and I came down. <laughs> oh, okay. There's two of us. Mm. We didn't get, it, but I came down to two. <laughs> oh, that's still good. <laughs> that's still good. <laughs> Lovely, yeah. I'm, oh, I love musicals so much. I remember doing that in sixth form, and I was just like, yes. And then we started studying some of the biggest musicals of all time and I was like yes I'm actually enjoying my education now yeah it's crazy when you start doing that mm. anybody's in West Side Story mm. just did Hearts, Beds and Bucks you know Hearts, Beds and Bucks you know, <laughs> just went round and did that but that was great fun because I changed my role as anybody so I had a bigger role oh okay so I'd be like I was like narrating it all the way through and that was going off and that. Mm. They gave me lead singer in Sergeant Krupke, so I sing that. Oh, okay, yeah. 
it was my song. <laughs> I was like, oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> and yes, I still remember all the song words and moves. <laughs> You can never forget musical songs, no. <laughs> no, I can't. I can still remember the old steps they taught me when I was like nine. I'm like, I'm like no, stop doing it. <laughs> yeah, I remember when Lay Miz came on, on on screen one time. And I was like, oh, oh don't. I, I cry. Do. I still cry. <laughs> Every time. She'll sing three bars and I'm crying. <laughs> it gave you so many memories from when I, when I was performing it. I was just like, I can't believe I performed this when I was nine. Oh, my gosh. But... <laughs> Crazy. That's, that's the, the loveliness of it. Oh, musical. I can't wait to go to the theatre again. <laughs> I know, yeah. They just redid the theatre up in Milton Keynes. They literally oh. did it up. Yeah, in a lockdown. Then, yeah, so no one's seen it. No one's seen it. <laughs> I'm going in there. They've got a great cafe in there. And it's it's like it's like hidden, but you can watch everyone. So it's a really good cafe. Oh, okay. Cool. You're like, I'm just going to people work. <laughs> and it's heated as well. It's heated. So you're sitting for the heaters. Mm. Drink your coffee and watch the world go by. <laughs> One of my favourite places. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> oh, Lovely. I do love performing arts. Anyway, no. We'll get there. This, whatever this is, lockdown, COVID, whatever, yeah. We'll get through it. It'll be over soon. It'll be over yeah. soon. Well, we cool. Just continue to look forward and then just think about, just focus on the future, really. And then <clears throat> just move bit by bit. Small, achievable goals. <laughs> Definitely. Think about the people beside you. Come here, give me a hug. I know they said don't hug, but there you go. <laughs> I'm Italian. It's like against my culture not to hug. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I've already cut the kissing. Like, seriously, it's hurting me already. <laughs> <laughs> Very true. I mean, that, that elbow thing, yeah, it, it sort of works. Look, every shoot I've been on to, everyone's like, elbow thing. When I was looking like, do we have a hug? Yeah. <laughs> 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 everyone does it. Everyone. <laughs> No one at Fresh does, but everyone. <laughs> well, the MPs can't say anything. They're not with us. <laughs> we'll take it. We're adults at the end of the day. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. <clears throat> anything else? Is there anything else you'd like to fulfill or say? <clears throat> um... Just that, um, well, my tagline is always, I'm more than a pretty face. So most people look at me and think, oh, pretty privilege, uh, light skin privilege, uh, um, but I'm more than just my, my skin deep. Yeah. Um, I'm highly logical, I'm business minded, and I am highly, highly, highly motivated. And if anyone gives me an opportunity, I will take it with by with both hands and run with it. And I have never been one to say I'm gonna do something and never achieve it. Everything I've ever set out to do in my life, in a few things, yeah. I have been able to achieve um because of my determination. So yeah, watch this space. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> That's awesome words. <laughs> Thanks. Very, very inspirational. Thank you very much. I try to be. <laughs> oh, I'd love you to have your own, what do you call those things? TEDx talks or whatever it's called. TED talks, that's my dream. Yeah. That's my dream to do a TED talk. Once I've done that, <clears throat> I know I've made it. And I will talk about the fashion industry as well, but primarily about looking after people's mental health and looking after your own mental health. Mm. Um, but yeah, that's the dream. Well, you'll get there. TED Talks and get on QI. <laughs> have, writers on, have writers on QI all the time. If I get on QI, mm. I mean, no one, no one will even know my name. Hi, I went on QI once. Literally, that's what I'd be known as because <laughs> that's all I'd be talking about. <laughs> <laughs> 
amazing. Good stuff. Right, it's been lovely, 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 lovely talking to you all. Uh, I could talk to you all day. Yeah. You're so fabulous. And you both. Oh, people like you. Time. <laughs> <laughs> all the gnomes, all the gnomes I know, are all amazing women. Now you're another gnome. <laughs> oh, I'm I'm named from the Bible, so from a very strong <laughs> woman, I'm named from. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right then, Chip. It was great talking to you. You too. Enjoy your dinner and get some water in, you girl. Yeah, I will. Don't worry. <coughs> I can feel the jugs and that should be okay. All right then, babe. Lovely talking to you. See you on weekend. You too, my love.